Okay, so here it is. The Record Power SC2 uh, 2.5 inch mini chuck package. Uh, in the box is uh, the chuck, uh, the 40 millimeter standard jaws, uh, wood screw and a chuck key. It's in a cardboard box. The SC3 and SC4 are in plastic cases but uh, I don't really see it as a disadvantage, in fact it's better for the environment being in a cardboard box because once you've put the um, jaws on the chuck you couldn't put them in the plastic, back in the plastic case anyway so uh, the fact that you've got to throw this away well, it's not here now there. Right, so we've got the chuck key the chuck and it is really it is a really small one, which is uh, which is what I got it for. It's to do small items, and yeah, it does measure two and a half inches across. Well, let's have a little look at it. And get in there. It's been packed in pretty tight. Too tight. There we go. Right, I'm going to get some paper, paper towel, because uh, it's, uh, it's got grease on it. Stop it rusting. Get rid of that. There we go. Give it a little wipe. I've got the M33 version, M33 by 3.5 direct thread. So this threads direct onto the lathe so it keeps everything nice and tight up against the headstock instead of having to have a, an adapter that uh, well, further away from you, you go from the headstock the more likely you are to get vibration. So anyway, that's, oh, there we go. Uh, there's the, um, that's the uh, jaws, there's the worm screw, an allen key and the, uh, and the screws and a set of instructions which we may or may not look at. Right then, let's take the jaws out bag and rip that open. Put the paper down. There we go. And give those a little wipe as well. numbered. You can see there the number one, uh, one, two, three and four and the uh, the jaws are numbered similarly. So we get number number one, you just see it there. Oops, and find number one there and we'll pop it on there. key, one of the screws, just do it lightly to start with, okay and I'll do the others in a second, and the last screw
Right. We just loosely tighten those down. Right then. If we get the chuck key and just pinch them together so that they're all lined up with each other before we tighten them down fully and I think that way is probably the best way to make sure that nothing's out and they're all lined up nicely they don't have to be crazy tight just pinch them up right the chuck key nice and simple it's an open backed one which I've never had any problems with in the past with my SC3 which is open backed and uh, yeah it's a really nice action nicely engineered I will point out that I, I bought this with my own money so nobody's paying me to do this uh, uh, but of course if someone wants to give me a free chuck and uh, I'd be more than happy to do a review on a chuck or anything else for that matter. Free stuff's always good. <laughs> so uh, anyways, yeah, good action. Um, if you want to use the worm screw, you get that out of the way. You open it up. The worm screw fits inside. It, in the, can you see that? In the middle of the jaws there. And just just make sure, don't tighten it up straight away, just keep keep wiggling it and, and tightening it up bit at a bit at a time. And then when it's in the centre, giving it that final tighten up. And then if you've got a piece of wood, um, see like that, drill the hole in the centre and screw the worms screw it onto the worm screw obviously the holes got to be the same diameter as the solid shank there so that it gives the thread to key in um, screw it on and screw it tight up against the the um, the top of the jaws there that's where it wants to tighten up against and uh, yeah that's a good solid good solid fix in there You've also got this little grub screw which fits on here and that is for if you want to do any um, reverse sanding or indeed reverse turning not that I do it but uh, but you can do and um, there you are that goes on there And then it, that just tightens up onto the uh, onto the headstock, and then you've got a little um, leather washer that goes up there underneath it, so that um, so that you don't damage the uh, headstock when you tighten it onto it. Okay, uh, uh, I'll go over to the. Oh, first of all. I'll show you the difference in sizes between the uh, different um, record power chucks. Pop those on one side. Right. So that's the SC2. The SC3 is surprisingly different, seeing as it's. Um, I'm assuming this is a three inch. You just see no, actually it's three and a it's three and a half inch which is why there is such a difference so the SC3 is three and a half inches in diameter and um, I t tend to have my pen jaws on this and I use it for drilling out um, blanks for pens and um, yeah so that's what I tend to use that one for and you can see there's quite a difference there and then there's the SC4 which I've got the standard 50 millimeter 50 millimeter 
jaws on and uh, and that's got a closed back but that's that's great for big bowls or anything on the large side um, but what I found even with the SC3 it takes a, a, a 50 mil standard jaw set or comes with it um, but I found with if I want to do a really small bowl um, these only go down to 50 mil and if the base of the bowl is a bit um, bit on the small side I don't want to I don't want to have a, a, a 50 mil uh, mortise um, at the bottom of the bowl it's too much so the only way you can get around that is to do a, a tenon which you've got to turn off but I do like to use a mortise um, which is why I got this one because when this is down at its smallest take that worm screw out just close it up I can put a mortise on the bottom of a bowl at 40 mil so uh, it, it means that I can get a much smaller um, mortise on the bottom of a bowl which is which is going to be handy and for any small items instead of having that bulk bulky thing whirling round near a, a, a kind of small item especially with that one um, you could have you can have that one which you can get around the back of things much easier because it's only a very small uh, chuck right I'll take you over to the headstock and we'll try putting it on <coughs> okay so here we are over the headstock there's Foxy from uh, Claire's um, making it out of the woods um, so there you go it's an M33 by 3.5 uh, direct thread so it can go straight on it and you see it's a really nice small small chuck and you can get right round it hold small things it's uh, yeah it's nicely machined uh, record power Sh uh, Sheffield company and uh, yeah great bit of kit the chuck key I'm assuming is looks different from the SC3 yeah so I will have to have uh, the two different uh, chuck keys for the two different chucks but that's fine I don't suppose it oh, works in the other one no So as so long as I don't get them mixed up, that's uh, that's great. There we go. Yep, nice, nice piece of kit. And that's where the uh, little grub screw tightens onto the headstock. Anyway, so there we have it. Uh, record power SC2 mini chuck package. Um, yeah a really nice little shook and I can see it's going to be useful for a lot of the small items that I turn and I do tend to turn smaller items um, so I don't get I don't get many huge pieces of wood uh, but I do get a lot of bits so that'll be great as I said I bought it with my own money so I've got no uh, reason to uh, uh, promote it uh, but yeah, yeah, it's a nice one. If it's anything like the SC3 and SC4, they're great chucks and great value value for money. This I haven't mentioned. This was um, 79.99 um, plus postage, uh, and I did get that from uh, Yandles at uh, Martok in Somerset uh, through the post. But you can also get it through uh, Record Power. Uh, yeah, it is a fairly new one. And um, previously to this one, I had a, an adapter, and uh, what well, you can imagine, having that into the headstock, uh, that way around, having that into the headstock, 
and then the chuck on top of it it all it all takes the weight over from the headstock which is not a great thing tighter up to the headstock you can go the better so it's a, uh, and this is a new one um, it's not been out very long it is a yeah great bit of kit okay hopefully you found it useful um, if you did give it a thumbs up um, like it uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel uh, have a look at some of the other videos and hopefully subscribe and uh, and leave a comment um, yeah I read them all and I reply to them all and I enjoy getting them so uh, from here in Cornwall it is not raining it's been nice today it's been cold but uh, but sunny um, my name's Andy Paramore this is Andy's Cornish Creations and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.